guys, Paul here from Aussie Survivor, uh, AussieSurvivor.com. Is bringing you another unboxing of. I'm going to read the name. It's Otfrid Solar Mono Portable Foldable 100 Watt 12 Volt Solar Panel. This baby has just come in from. They ship out of Amazon Direct. That's why the Prime's on it. You can buy them on the website. There's a link in the description. Um, and this stuff is meant to be pretty good, so let's have a look at it. We'll get into the box now. There's a lot of techie stuff on these, so I'm no solar guru, but um, yeah, like, uh, I like using them. So let's get this one out. Box, a really like box on the outside. It's come all the way to Denmark, so pretty, pretty easy stuff. You're the right. So far, it looks pretty light packing, but lots of stuff in there. I say the good stuff here. Here it is. Yeah, so all that's to protect me. That's got a little bit of weight. I say 14 kilo. It feels a bit heavier. And all that is just this stuff. Packaging plastic, man. I might have a word to them about that. I don't know if there's a better way. So that giant box brings you to this. <laughs> what a way. I suppose they're pretty delicate, you know, the shipping system over here, they might be, yeah, might not be as adequate as some. Watch oh, free, oh, really? So this is a 100 watt one. Uh, so they're new to Australia. They're still working a few uh, shipping things, but I got this within seven days. I had this at my door, so yeah, pretty happy with that. I think I put it in on the 18th or, or the 16th. And there's a lot of public holidays and stuff in the middle at the moment, so let's get this open. Huh? So yeah, nice sturdy packaging here. This is what you want. Probably be a little bit more. Oh yeah, there is a be careful with a knife, there's a bag as you open it. Might just bring the camera so you can see how it comes. Let's bring it around so I'm trying to get a bit better with my editing. So that's how she comes straight in the box. Like I say, look at all this. What a waste. That giant box for that. First criticism, get rid of your plastic. I don't know if there's a better way to package things, but that's not the answer. Sorry, Alfred. I don't think it's your fault. I think it's uh, probably Amazon and their prime delivery service. I mean, it, I suppose so they're quite expensive, 170 plus dollars on the site, but you don't, you don't want it broken. But there might be another way we can protect these without using so much plastic. So what we'll do is I might go back and put the camera back on. Um, but yeah, it's pretty standard so far. All right, so we've got this. Very well packaged in this. Like, I would have been happy to get it like that. But I suppose you, you wonder. Just another box. Nothing inside in there. Cool package. Maybe just slip that on your arm. Or you can just carry it like that. Probably have it in your car most of the time anyway. Excuse me one second. Let's enjoy your beers. So as soon as that comes off. Wow, this is pretty. I just see it. It's nice. Always nice getting cool things in the mail. Better than bills. Wow, that's cool. That looks sturdy straight away. This is no cheap. You can see that. So the panels are on the outside. That is beautiful. Very good panel. Oh, it's got. Oh no, there's no plastic. So the plastic's on the side to protect here. I might just leave that on for now. Very good, very strong, very, feels strong, feels solid. 
but that's all meant to be. It's all waterproof. Um, I was reading before. Um, I mean, this is the first time I've seen one, so um, I'm with you guys. Molly Cro Man, these big words. Money crossed the line. Solar cells drive high solar efficiency. An excellent heat tolerance, whatever that means. As long as it charges your batteries, or what will we care about? Uh, 25 year Australian back. So these are delivered out of Australia, these are. Available on the site, I'll have the link in the description. Um, and a product five year warranty. So they're backing these for five years. That's that's good, that's good. Um, obviously, any, if you buy it from me, any troubles, you just call me and I'll sort it out with them. They're waterproof. Um, they've got a battery sets and charge indicator, which apparently is inside there, we'll have a look. And uh, two USB ports, so you charge your phone. Kind of cool, a big charger for your phone. And uh, charge multiple devices at the same time, so you could charge uh, power banks, etc. That's what I probably do, charge my power bank as well. Um, it's got a regulator, it can be set to charge your, your exact battery type with wet, in big words. It's not only charges your battery in the quickest and most efficient way possible. But it also extends the lifespan of the battery without harming with overcharging. So it's got a thing to stop it from overcharging. The panels are encased in a corrosion resistant aluminium frame, that's that. Compatible with RV bow trailers, all the sort of gear you'd expect. Alright, yeah, all the all the hogwash. Positive output tolerance, three for Ten winds and snowfall. You won't get much snowfall in my place of the world. Um, energy reflected high transfer with low iron tempered glass with efficient rigidity. You guys can read all this on the website. Let's have a look at it. Let's quit that. Like I say, I've never, I've never had one of these before. I've been wanting to get one. And And Otford contacted me saying that they wanted me to sell them. I'm like, okay, let's have a go. So that's really tight. Is that, am I doing something wrong there? Or is that just how they are? Let's have another look. I shouldn't do this, but I will. Is that meant to? Okay, maybe I should read the instructions. Oh, here you go, just push it a bit forward, you don't need to use the knife. Put the knife away, Paul, put the knife away. There you just push it right forward, so good. So it's obviously like a double, so one, two. So I'm opening it, it's one, push it a bit more, it's two. And again there. Let's get this over. Cool, man. All right, let's have a look at the back first. So, I assume, so I've got this upside down, definitely. Let's flick him over. Not solid, it doesn't feel tinny at all. It feels really solid. I'm really happy with the quality so far. Not without even the stand, she's standing. Well, that didn't sound good. I didn't break nothing. <laughs> okay, so they're just sort of flexible, so. I assume, yeah, so we'll put that down later. Let's have a bit more of a look at that. You can see pretty good there, so we'll have a bit more of a look. <laughs> Probably got a bit excited. Let's put this back down for now. So that just folds in there. Alright. So that's. That must be. This is your regular. So that's, so that's your solar charge controller. Let's take it off. More plastic. I suppose we all want it to look pretty these days, don't we? That's just going to end up in the bin. I hate plastic. Give you my guess. Um, so, couldn't help myself, I had to pull that off. You probably can leave that on, I might give it a bit more protection, but that's gone now, it's just annoying me. So look at this, so this is, your, this is your charge. This is what you'll connect to your battery, I assume, obviously. If not, you can't charge nothing, there's no point, is there? Uh, now I need the knife. This is my favourite knife. I've emailed Gilber about or Gerber about 30 times. They won't even respond to me. I'd like to stock them, but yeah, they do sell good knives, I must admit. 
This is my favorite, I haven't had a long time. Quick release, nice solid stand. And you see, just good size, you know, not just for the things like this, hunting, camping, survival, whatever you want. So you got, that's got good length. So if you had to plug that to a caravan or something, you've got, or just a guessment, one, two, at least three, three and a half meters. The specs are probably on the pack. I'm pretty sure that's like it. Oh, you got two. So that must be your power there. Just where the solar panel shoots the power, shoots it into both of these, which then shoots it there. Controller, which then shoots it down these wires. I'll bring you in and let you have a better look. Good, good solid, yeah, I feel like reasonable quality. You don't want too much taping around there. Solid wires. So that's your connector there. So I, I think with caravans and stuff, you can connect that straight to it. I've never obviously done that, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, really long cable. Again, the connectors, so if you wanted to use a different connector. The solar channel charger. Right there. Here we go. Let's have a quick look at this. Here's your specs. This is on the site too, so you can have a look at that. That's just if you're out, so you can know. Oh, man, I must be getting weak. That felt like more than 9.2 kilos, but anyways, I'm probably just feeling weak. It's been a long day. Let's have a bit more of a look. Really good, like that's that's a G-Shock there. So about the about the width of a G-Shock, maybe a bit under. Again, I've emailed um, Casio to get their watches. They only want to sell me a hundred thousand at a time. I'm just like, yeah, I don't need that many watches. But yeah, you can see the panels. Let's get this bad boy out in the sun. It's actually a nice day, so we might um, get the. Get that out in the sun and just go from there. Really nice one, guys. Let's, I'll just quickly pack it up, see how hard it is to pack up. Just gonna do a quick pack up of it. So let's just pretend we're on the move. Time to go, time to leave the site. This will be interesting, never done this before. Assume you just go quite a small loop. I, sh I would imagine that you wanna protect the front panel at all times, hence why you have covers, etc. If you tuck that in there like that, I'd say, something like that. Let's just see what happens. Probably like the wrong way to do it, I don't know. Pick it up. Yeah, you just take your time, or I should take my time, I should say. Yeah, that's it. So again, one, two, one, two, done. So what I'll do is now is I've got some sun out, I've got an old battery, so I don't even know if it works, I'm pretty sure it used to work, so what we'll do is we'll get that charge, um, probably do a couple of series on this one and I might put it out in the field, I'll get an esky running, we'll go surfing or something like that and see how it goes, so bear with me. I'll go set her up outside, I'll get it all set up before we start filming, and uh, we'll go from there. Just one thing I'm doing is just tightening these up a little bit. One of them actually came out, and just giving them a quick nip. <laughs> That's my duck Daffy and Buster. Let me come and check out what I'm doing. So we've got the panel set up. Working nicely. Just an old car battery. Just to test them out. Nice and easy. So the panels are all set up correctly. So what we have here, might just move it. You can see 14.2 volt going in. It gives you a battery charge indicator of the battery. So I'd say that battery's got a bit of juice in it. Couple of modes there, I'm not really sure. 
I think that's how much is in the battery now. And that's what it's charging. Could be wrong there. Definitely gives you a display. Well, they're pretty simple stuff. Literally unfold, plug it in. There was a couple of little tip. There's a couple of um, wires there. Little screws. Just give them a little tight nut. Yeah, this is brilliant. Should be able to run a fridge angle on that. No problem. Alright. Paul from Aussie Survivor. Keep camping, keep outdoors. We'll set another one up in a few days. Might get the esky on and see how we go. Thanks for watching. Cheers.